Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Bad trades, couple too many and suddenly you don't have the health anymore uh, to contest. But also, I mean, this is one of the big changes that Wakong got a while ago that just makes him so obnoxious. It's like you hit one Q and you're good to Whoa, go. Whoa, that's a flash from Sylvie. Execute, he's flashing away, but they really want this seafood, and there is the crash down. First blood goes to Jiwoo. They invested a bunch of summoners, but they got their prize. Yeah. Same thing, so far so good in that regard. So he does go for a bit of a teleport back. Has a sword and a red thing, oh, and no. oh dear. Um, execute, may, oh dear, is this, did we, yeah, uh, okay. Um, that's two quick ones here for Jiwoo. And we've seen two sides of Execute, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen the one that pops off, makes plays and everything, but a little bit that was uh, tense. afraid of the zoom in. That's lane honest. losing them, the mental damage that can Oh, 100%. Happen. That's a flash. Dundon immediately going to flash as well as Clear with his ulti activated. Dundon going to do the same here. I don't know whether he wants this. As there it is. Clear oh. locks it down. Fiesta also unable to avoid the clockwork wind up finish of him. Both solo laners. From Fear X, just get them off the Oriana, but close and closer. Just this feels like a bit of an overstep with how deep you're putting the ward, considering you don't have that side rush clear. And you can just see the claps, the timing really nice from Peter and Sylvie coming to together to punish. Yeah, There's dragons. Dragons are pretty solid, and it looks like Nongshim really have a ton of control. You can see on the minimap how many wards there are on this bot side river. Uh, Dundon might be in trouble. We're looking to start tanking the turret, but. He can actually do so. Heals up very nicely, and yeah, Dindon, he has Flash, he uses it, but he is still dead, and this time, Willa's gonna be able to make it out, so no casualties underneath that turret. Should Willa is now just moving towards the rest of these bubs. That might be where we see the next fighters. That's a flash forward from Clear, uh, and Dindon is just dead. He just this is the, him. And this is the Clear that we were waiting to see. This is the guy that was carrying DRX in challenge. Chester will find Willa, the big poke down. Yep, Sylvie comes on over to clear out the control ward there as well as the jungle is face off. And yeah, of course, Will is going in. That's a shockwave. That's a Magnus Storm. And now Empress Divide and manages to catch closer. Sylvie dives on top of him and they take down the Orianna. Will is trying to get in there though and he is going to be able to do so. And now Fiesta, he doesn't have that ult. And Willer, I think, could have just kept auto attacking. But instead, Fiesta is going to walk away and they will just leave one for one. So do you think Fiesta will survive? Well, I think you get the tower, I think you put up your own tower, and then I think you hope for the best. Well, um, Empress Vibe going to be used here as Fiesta moves ever closer to the enemy base. That flash um, was a flash of all time, and he is going to be taken down. Dundon now in trouble. Infernal Chains do work out, but the Tidal Wave is going to come in. Execute just straight up missing the bubble. It doesn't matter, though, as another kill happens towards the mid lane. Peter is just dead. Not sure how that one happened, but nice work, Hannah. And now Will is going to move towards the Drake, and I feel like this was just catastrophic. Ash as well. I haven't seen a Jax this fed in such a long time. It's crazy. And here he comes. Um, the flash from Fiesta to try and avoid the uh, Counter-Strike stun, but he's flashing towards an inhibitor turret. Uh, the acceptance of his fate might have been a necess necessity in order to hold on to that cooldown. Yeah, this is a very fed Jax. And here, Peter just... Oh. Uh, gets wind becomes lightning. What? Why are you going that way? He wants to get to the rest of his team. Oh, and then oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, and the flash. Is. Lucian's a range champion. He doesn't need. <laughs> he can still auto you from that distance. Kill the nexus. And you do a ton of damage, yeah. All right. Um, any and then fifth item. Sojourn or something. As Jiwoo going aggressive, tidal wave, gonna be following him, gets the knockup as Magnet Storm will answer here and everyone piles on top of Hannah, but he flashes, Empress Divide goes wide and now Clear is looking for this Counter-Strike but the team calls him off and he is gonna say, all right, you will live this time around. Willa now looking for his opportunity, Closer comes in, there's the Shockwave and Sylvie's in trouble, he's trying to crash his way out of it, they get on top of Hannah, but have they dealt with the problem? No, Clear has not taken uh, damage yet and look at them, they are getting pulverized, Dindon takes one, but maybe that was a mistake, they've reset the gold for Clear to pick up as he puts him in the ground as well, seven, one and two on this Jax. There's, oh dear. There's no other way to spin how that fight played. Just wanting to make sure he's got a bit of magic resist, That's the a bit of armor. 
feeling fantastic. If he goes back with like 200 gold, he'll be able to finish a uh, Frozen Heart because it's so cheap. And Jiwoo's, uh, he's going to Feather Storm and then he's oh dead. God, this uh, um, the W is dumb damage here with uh, just how fed he is. And Sylvie is also going to die. That's Henna picking up that kill. Fox, if you'd like to, you can go grab yourselves a Baron. You can also walk up the mid lane and possibly just win. Uh, there is just no end to the amount of control that they have. And I would probably just grab that POG form and just put yeah, your pick in the say, top lane it's, now. It's such an easy decision. Um, this is where you can tell if some of the voters didn't watch the game. Hey, there we go. So, in a turret. Uh, I don't think he gets this in time. He might get it if he full oh, sacrifices, no. and he will. Um, ooh, the turnaround was actually kind of cute. Tidal Wave going to come in. He avoids it. Um, we can see the minimap, so we can see the fact that Dundon is dead, even if he doesn't think he is just yet. Uh, he is just yet dead. Yeah, so I said he, I didn't think he'd get that. You can't really go that wrong with builds. Aiming should play Jax. <laughs> Crash down going to be used here by Sylvie to get himself out of here. And here comes clear. And uh, we're going to try this team fight once again. As Look at them. He was in amongst four people. Look, oh my goodness, he went down to half health. That's crazy, but he's got his onions. And Nongshim, they did manage to get a kill here. And now Clear's going to have to get out. Get them back away? Yeah, he does so. Oh. And Shockwave going to be used on a single target. And Fiesta able to get himself away from this one as well. But there's no cooldowns left remaining. In terms of dealing with the Jax, five is like... Oh, oh, oh That's dear. not five, that's three. Yeah, Leap Strike going to be used. Shattering Strike connects here. And can they actually kill him is the question. In comes Fiesta, throws him back forward. But he has the Counter-Strike back up and available once again. Henna trying to get these autos, oh, but there's the kill onto the Jax. They take down the Azir in response, but killing the Jax, I thought was going to be impossible for the entirety of this game. And we'll be able to do a fair bit of damage. Uh, and yeah, I love that. And it onto Fiesta. Who's oh. going to get shot? Oh, oh no, Jiwoo! He stepped in just the edge and is taken down. Oh, you can see, I, even though it's the champion doing the walking, I saw the guilt in the stride of the Shuriman Emperor as he was making his way out. Closer saw him as the target, and it's Jiwoo that pays the price. I feel like those situations where you're right on the edge are the worst, because if Jiwoo was firmly in the shockwave radius, he, would have, he probably would have ulted. Right, as well as clear, just looking for that moment, looking for that opportunity, the poke damage flying forward. Every time Closer throws this orb around, it is doing massive damage. As the first Nexus turret does go down, Clear is going to teleport back in. They find the knockup, but Willow is just going to split the fight. Now Clear dives in. He's got his Zonyas already prepared. A shockwave onto two. Both bottom laners taking so much from that one. Dundon trying to be the valiant hero here for Nongshim. And they are standing their ground. They are surviving at least. But their Nexus is getting torn apart, and in goes clear again. I just don't think this is going to be enough. There's the shuffle. They do manage to pick up Henna. But look at this, some free time with a Nexus, and down it goes. Firex will take game one. Yeah, and I feel like just the, the top gap made this game so impossible. I yeah. These were some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.